Thought for the day, brothers and sisters. Today I was reading in the book of Job, Job chapter 6. When you come to verses 6 and 7, Job is speaking about how an egg white and salt had no flavor for him anymore. And basically what's happening here is that Job is in despair. He's suffering a lot. And I, I think we could all relate to Job when we're going through very difficult times in our lives. That the pleasures that we have in this world, we lose interest in them. Whether it's uh, a hobby, certain foods we like to eat. When we're in despair, we're depressed, or we're going through a very difficult time, the enjoyments of this life don't mean as much anymore. So I wanted to speak a couple of things today about these scripture verses. First and foremost, I can tell you from my own prayer life, my own personal life, my own walk with the Lord as I get into prayer, I often remind myself that the God that I serve as Romans chapter 15 verse 13 tells us is the God of hope. See, our hope is in God, first and foremost. As I'm walking out here in this uh, little wooded area where I uh, often do these devotional videos, there's a lot of beer cans on the floor, tons of beer cans. So a lot of times people, when they're in despair or they want to feel good, they'll drink. Uh, people will do drugs, uh, maybe get in a relationship they shouldn't be in or uh, eat certain foods they shouldn't be eating or uh, go to the mall and buy more and more stuff, try to fill themselves with things of this world. But the hope that we have is not so much in the things in this world, but we have to put our hope in God, the God of hope, as Romans 15 verse 13 tells us. Second thing that helps me um, in my own personal life when I'm going through trials and tribulations is to know that the God that we serve doesn't change. Malachi chapter 3 verse 6, James chapter 1 verse 17, Psalm 102 verse 2. You can check out those verses for yourself and they basically speak about how God doesn't change. Our circumstances might change. Uh, things that go on in our life might change. Our health is going to change. I know I'm getting a little older. I can attest to that. But we have to put our mind on the one who never changes. We have to remember that God is always faithful and true. So my friends, we all go through trials and tribulations. I'm in a group on Facebook with a, a prayer group, an administrator. I'm an administrator in a prayer group on Facebook, and it's grown to over 105,000 members around the world. And I often, throughout the day, when I have some time, uh, I'll look at these prayer requests, uh, pray to the Lord uh, for them. And I'm just, sad, it saddens me, but it's also just a reminder of what Job would say in Job chapter 5 verse 7 as this fire sparks upward so too do we have trouble Job in 14, chapter 14 verse 1 said a man born of a woman is a few years and many troubles so it's not a surprise that the trials and tribulations many are going through but it is it is a reminder we live in a fallen world and we're going to suffer in this world we often want to try to live in our own little cocoon or the boy in the bubble so to speak and hide ourselves or insulate ourselves from trouble. My friends, we're going to hit rock bottom. We're going to be in the valley at times. Elijah, a very godly man, a very powerful man of God, wanted to commit suicide. He was basically telling God, take my life. He wanted to die. He was suicidal in a cave in 1 Kings chapter 19. So there are times in life when despair is going to hit us. We see it with Job right now. And I hope what I said will encourage us all to find the Lord, seek the Lord, go to him, the one who doesn't change and the one who gives us hope. The second thing I wanted to speak about is this topic of food. Um, Job in Job chapter 6, verse 6 and 7 speaks of salt and the egg white or an egg. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ said that salt is good. Mark chapter 9, verse 50. Christ alluded to the egg as being good read in Luke chapter 11 verses 12 and 13 what I'm trying to say is we need to be careful what we eat now we don't judge others by what they eat but I'm going to try to use my own life as an ex as an uh, example um, if I have anything with caffeine in it say coffee or if I have some sugar like chocolate too much I will have insomnia I won't get to sleep it'll affect my sleep if I have anything with lactose, like milk or cheese, it'll affect my stomach. I get like these grumbling noises in my stomach. So there are things I have to avoid. 
There is an old saying, we are what we eat, and to an extent that's true. I try to detox my body every day with teas, herbal teas. I take a lot of garlic and ginger. Um, mentioning egg, I have a, a raw egg every day. Egg, uh, it's an organic egg I get every day. Um, it's very healthy, has a lot of minerals and vitamins in it. So when I eat what's right and proper, I feel better. If I don't eat right and I eat junk that I shouldn't have or excess of stuff that I shouldn't have, I'm going to feel miserable. I'm going to feel it. So what I'm trying to say, my friends, is we need to be careful what we eat. The egg was healthy. Salt is good, as Christ told us about these uh, uh, foods. And we're reading here that Job is not finding any flavor or taste in these things because he's in despair. As I said before, a lot of times in life when we're going through difficult times, the things we might enjoy don't feel the same anymore. I can remember when my father, he passed away in 2008, as he was getting sick with cancer, he had lung cancer, he died at the age of 66, but I can remember him losing his independence. That was actually worse than the cancer he got, or just as bad. Not being able to do what he was able to do, he got into a very bad depression where he told me at times he didn't want to go to the chemotherapy no more. He was just suffering so much, he just wanted to give up. But I thank the Lord that he found his strength in Christ. Uh, his witness was an example for me personally, but he did suffer. And there were times when he was in such despair that even the little common grace blessings of a dinner or a lunch didn't really mean as much to him. So my friends, I hope today's devotional video will encourage us, strengthen us to seek the Lord when we're going through these difficult times in our lives. Psalm 34 verse 18 and 19 tells us that God is close to the brokenhearted, those who are of a broken spirit. Many of the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord will deliver us from them all. You're going to go through the fire. You're going to be in the valley in life. I've still, I've experienced oftentimes in my own life. But what do we do with it? We have to take care of our bodies. Watch what we eat. We often become emotional eaters. When we're in depression, we go to certain foods that we shouldn't be eating. And it might feel good for a minute or two, but later on you pay for it. We need to live a disciplined life. Be in prayer. Maybe even fast for a period of time. Pray about that. Fast for a few hours. Get in the word of God. Spend time in the presence of the Lord. And I hope today, my friends, we will learn these disciplines today and draw closer to the Lord. Heavenly Father, Lord God, I thank you for all my brothers and sisters who will see this devotional video today. Lord, I pray that we would all, including myself, will seek you and find you and draw closer to you through your word and prayer to avoid the things in this world we need to stay away from and in our sorrow find comfort in you. In Jesus' name I pray. Take care, my friends.